Eritrean youth in the diaspora are protesting in support of a group of soldiers who recently challenged the rule of President Isaias Afwerki. On Wednesday, activists reportedly occupied Eritrea's embassy in Rome. They demanded a meeting with the ambassador, saying they deserved answers about the situation in their homeland. What follows a similar protest last week at the Eritrean Embassy in London, which we covered on the stream, and another protest in Washington, D.C., where netizens say this photo is from. Both the activists abroad and the dissident soldiers are calling for the release of political prisoners in Eritrea. Next up, what would you do if your government monitored your online messages? A new first aid kit, launched in part by the Swedish government, seeks to help human rights defenders secure their digital communications. The interactive website covers everything from encrypting sensitive emails to hiding online activity for those who are being monitored. The creators hope to combat online wiretapping and train activists in using the internet securely. And lastly, Google is on the lookout for young students with ideas that will change the world. On Wednesday, the 2013 Google Science Fair started accepting online submissions from teenagers aged 13 to 18. Well, we spoke to the bright young minds who won last year's competition on a recent show, including one girl from the U.S. who developed a new way to diagnose breast cancer. Well, for more of that interview, you can go to our website at stream.aljazeera.com. Lisa?